more there's more money chasing few 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 people that have been in the business for enough years so you're getting fresh talent yeah that is still up like, the learning curve you're just, you're the just cumulative iq points cumulative iq points in the space has been compounding at say 60 percent, and yeah. i think we'll do so for a long time which is an insane like rate kind of rate of growth but right now the money is come like the money flooding into the space is going you know 200 300 percent and so it's things are moving like i'm incredibly bullish on the space but i think that from a if you're going to do this kind of second like venture investing side of things there are real returns to being counter cyclical like aggressively counter cyclical um which is why i think like lock your money up and this is not investment advice but there is how do i phrase this i think there's a lot of sense to the idea of saying i'm going to lock my money up on a four-year investment horizon where the manager, if they want, if they want to, can sit on their hands for three and a half years and do nothing, and just wait for things to normalize. And I know managers that did that; like they sat out all of 2017 and most of 2018, and then they came in. And this is another thing with with managers: like a sense of market timing and knowing when to be a pig and when to step out of the market is really important. I think long term. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, you have you, the tough part is being able to find the LPs that are willing to give you cash to sit on. Right. That is, that is yeah, really Yeah. Which tough. we're at a, very much with the hedge fund. So you're at a disadvantage big carry there. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I mean, this is antithetical in the, in the whole crypto space, but cause nobody talks about this, right? What is the actual valuations of these companies? I remember they were the same valuations were originally from Toronto. It was the same valuations as mining exploration companies in 2007. There was mm -hmm. nothing. There was a plot of land where they haven't proved anything out. That was next to other things that may have some gold or silver or zinc or copper, but were trading at ridiculous levels and obviously ended up having nothing. There was, there was no cash flow. There was just a dream. And I feel like the space is full of that right now, right? And so possibly, yeah. but I, possibly yeah. being patient. I mean, long-term patient, 10, 15 years waiting for that drug. God, if you're thinking we're mid-cycle, there's probably something to the next 18 months uh, in terms of being invested before you step out, even with these crazy valuations. I, I think we're in a trader's market, not an investor's. Like if you've got positions, there are things you could point to, to, to say, you know, I'm going to hold another month, two months, five months, 10 months, whatever, whatever the number is. But if you're moving in from zero, you know, for me, you know, the late stage bull and, and the early stage bear is a wonderful time to be on the market neutral side of things. Cause that, that's really when you get the juiciest returns. And then when crypto is left for dead and everyone thinks it was, you know, all a big joke and a Ponzi scheme at that point, I think going to the developer conferences, and seeing like that there's still a lot of energy and money and funding in the space working on you know, really smart people working on extremely difficult high value problems still at breakneck speed it's it's very useful during the bull market because it tampers down your wild expectations because everyone is behaving as though like a lot of these protocols have already kind of changed the world and actually there's there are pockets of well, like usage you could point to, but overall, you know, it's very, very early. And then in the bear market, when the whole thing's kind of left for dead, you see that actually, you know, things are actually better than last year, um, but the valuations are down 90%. Um, and so it's, you can sort of think of this relatively steady trend line that I think is accelerating in speed in terms of how mature this tech is getting globally. And then around that, you have this huge, like, you know, with very large amplitude kind of, oscillator of investor interest and valuations.